Right then, so let's have a look at this one then. So it says two forces, F1 and F2, act on an object. The resultant force is F. Given that F1 is 4 across 7 up, so F1 is 4, 7, and F2, F2 is minus 5, 3. Find the magnitude of F and then its direction. Right then, so the magnitude, well, first of all, let's work out the resultant force. So that's just going to be F1 plus F2. So my resultant force will be 4, 7 plus minus 5, 3. So you could draw it, couldn't you? You could draw the diagram. So minus 1, 10. So then the magnitude, which is its length, magnitude, will be minus 1 squared plus 10 squared, which is root 101. Have they left it as root 101? Uh, so we've got it as 10.049 newtons. Free sig fig, 10.0. So the resultant force, 10.0 newtons to free sig fig. And the angle it makes... So minus 110 is going across 1, or minus 1, and then going up 10. So tan theta is opposite over adjacent, so 10 over 1. Gives theta out as 84.3 degrees. But remember, we want going from the positive. So we want that angle. So really, it's 180 minus 84.3, which is 95.7 degrees. And that's from the positive x-axis again. Because we always take it from that positive x-axis. Positive i, really. Uh, so there's a third example here. So I might as well do that one, because I can be dead quick with it. So I've got F1, which is 5 minus 8. I've got F2 which is P minus 2, and I've got F3, which is minus 3Q. And the actor, oh, it's in equilibrium, isn't it? Right, so let's have a look then. So if I write down my resultant force, oops, is F1 plus F2 plus F3. Now, if it's in equilibrium, my resultant force is 0, is, um, Zero, zero. The force that's going to, it's going to balance out, or the answer is going to balance out to zero. So my zero, zero is going to be five minus eight. It's going to be p minus two. It's going to be minus three q. So if I look horizontally, I can create. Do you know I can't spell? You know that anyway. I can create an equation going horizontally. So 0 is 5 plus P minus 3. So P is minus 2. And I can also do it vertically. So 0 is minus 8 minus 2 plus Q. So 10 is Q. So if it remains in equilibrium, my, my force is balanced out as 0, 0. That's where I've got that from. Right, there's one there for you. Where it acts in equilibrium. So it should do exactly the same as what I've just done. Yeah, force is equal to zero. Uh, really, that should be zero, zero. Uh, right, it's 406 now. There's another example, so I'm going to stop the, the, um, stop the video.